What's up everyone? I'm Chris, Steph's behind the camera, and we're hungry to travel. It's another beautiful day here in Antakya, and we're gonna continue our street food tour of the city and see if we can find some more local specialties. I'm starving, so let's get to it. Welcome. We're here at Hatay Sultan Safrasi for our first stop of the day and this restaurant does a lot of very traditional Antakya food. So we have four different things to try. Kaitas Boregi, um, Ashur, Oruk and Oruk Chorba, so an Oruk soup. It's like a yogurt type of a soup. So this is Kaitaz Boregi, which you can see is very different than your typical Turkish Borek. It's a bit more like a little pastry, but it's got meat on the top, and it's actually pretty cute. It's pretty small. Mmm, oh, super flavorful. It's got some nice spices, and I think onion as well on top of there. Mmm. You can hear it, it's really crispy, very light, mm. much more of like a little pastry than your typical boregi. It's really nice, I like this. Here we have a shur, which is a very traditional and historical dish here in Antakya. It is made with meat, lamb and beef I believe, and bulgur wheat, and it's all pounded together with lots of spices. It looks like we've got some nice walnuts as well as probably fennel on top. And honestly, it smells amazing. Oh, <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. So I thought it was gonna be stringy, well, not stringy, elasticy, and it sure is. That is very interesting texture because they pound all the bulgur and everything together. That's really cool. Mmm, wow, that is super, super flavorful. A little bit spicy, but not too overpowering. Definitely lamb, I can taste the lamb. Such an interesting texture, so flavorful. Wow, look how elastic -y that is. And so the meat is really pounded in there because you can see the strands there, but when you actually eat it, you don't taste like chunks of meat, it's more just the strands of it. So it's a really interesting texture, but super flavorful and juicy. Such a really unique dish, wow. Mm. This is actually really amazing. I really, really like this. I might just eat it all. <laughs> So we have here uruk, which is a baked kind of bulgur kofta, and we actually have it in a soup version as well. It looks like a chorba, like a yogurt chorba with a cute little uruk in there as well. Cool little oval shape. Smells really, really good too. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Mmm. So you can see on the inside, it's filled with ground beef and cumin and red pepper and chili flakes and just the outer layer of the bulgur is so nice and baked and crispy. These guys are really, really tasty. Mm. So the oruk chorba actually looks really, really good and it looks like there's mint sprinkled all around it, garnished with all this mint. It's a bit chunky actually. There's pieces of the yogurt I think that you can see there. Oh wow, really, really sour actually from the yogurt. Oh yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be that sour, but really flavorful. Mm. You can really, really taste the mint actually. We get into this oruk here, filled with the ground meat. And actually there's walnuts in the oruk. So I forgot to mention that in the baked one that I had, but. Mm. The mint and the ground meat really, really pair well together. And even though it's been sitting in the soup, it's not soggy at all, so the bulgur is still kind of chewy and a little bit crispy, so... This is a good morning chorba. 
Wow, that was so tasty and delicious. Such historic dishes. But this food tour must continue. So come on, let's keep going. We're here at Hancher Yustan and Yeri in the Antakya Uzun Karchi Bazaar to try shalgum. Now this is a really, really popular drink in the Hatai region and here in Antakya. And it is a turnip beverage with like pickled fermented turnips. This is the place to try it here in Antakya because I mean, just look at this. This is gorgeous. I <laughs> really don't know how I'm gonna actually drink and get my face in there. So I'm just gonna pull one of these guys out, try not to stain my pants. Mmm. It almost has like a bit of a carrot taste to it. They're not too, too pickled or too sour or anything like that. Mmm. That's really good. I'm gonna attempt to drink this and not get it all over my face and my nose. Ooh, ooh. It's got a quite, fermented kind of kick to it. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Kind of sour, salty. It's really hard to describe, but it's such a cool glass. I love this. Killed it. Mmm. What an interesting, unique drink. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> well, let's continue on. This bazaar is bumping. <laughs> We're coming up now in the shop to try a very special Antakya pumpkin dessert. So this should be a special treat. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. So it's kind of like a, almost like a candy pumpkin slice. Oh, you can really smell the pumpkin, the pumpkin uh, smell and flavor to that. It's nice and soft too. Oh, it's like, cru it's like crunchy. Mmm, the outer layer is like crunchy. And the inside's nice and soft. Really, really sweet, but mmm. So much pumpkin flavor. It's almost like a candy pumpkin popsicle. <laughs> this is really good. A lot of pumpkin flavor. Not too sweet though, but I like the crunch to it. It's almost crunchy like a carrot. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like gooey. You can see on the inside. It's nice and soft. With all the pumpkin in there. Oh, Chuck Nippus. <laughs> Oh, uh, mmm, it's really, really tasty. Look how juicy it is. It's almost like a candied pumpkin. Look at that. Mmm, such an interesting dessert, but so yummy. Teşekkürler, <laughs> Usta. Even 
That was really, really tasty and really, really different. We were walking along in the market and smelt these delicious cookies coming out the oven and the lady was saying that these are kumbe, which are traditional Antakya cookies. So let's give this one a try. Mmm, there's so much pistachio in there and it's almost got the texture of a shortbread. It's really, really crumbly and light, oh, but lovely and warm because it just came right out the oven. Let's break it open. Oh wow, look at all that lovely pistachio in there. Mm. It's a bit more of like a pastry. So it's not very sweet or anything like that. Mm. I'm kind of soft and true where the pistachios are. This is really, really nice. They're delicious. That fistic kumbe was so good, we just had to try another one. So we've come inside for the permali kumbe and a tea to go with it, a chai, because perfect combo for something like this. Oh, wow. So her molly is date. Wow, look at that. Just jam packed with dates in there and it's all nice and soft. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm, that's lovely with the dates inside because they're nice and sweet. Mmm. But the cookie on the outside is so nice and light and crumbly. You can just see how it crumbles there. It really is like a shortbread kind of a texture, but again, not too sweet, not really buttery or anything like that, just really light. And mm, the date is really good. I don't know if I might actually like this better than the fish stick. That's delicious. Perfect pairing with a nice Turkish chai. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> what a tasty little afternoon treat that was to stumble upon. Let's keep going. This bazaar is such a labyrinth of different little alleys and streets. Considering this has been such an important stop off along the Silk Road for millennia, it's no wonder it's grown to such crazy lengths. Bebe. Bebe? Bebe. Ah, mm -hmm. Big Baba. Ah, ah grandfather. grandfather. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Baba. Uh-huh. Oda benim. Ah, wow. Ah. So three generations. 1921. Wow. Wow. One, 100 years here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're here at Nedim Usta, which is a really popular place for meze, like hummus and bakla, but we are here to try the baba ganoush which is the mashed eggplant meze. You can see the pomegranate molasses and the olive oil that's drizzled all over it. Big chunks of eggplant there. Wow. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Wow. You really taste that eggplant and because it's chunky, you actually can chew it down. Mmm. It's got red peppers in there so you 
but they're not like hot peppers. So you really get that red pepper taste as well. The pomegranate molasses gives it a really nice sweet taste as well. Mm. So you can see that there's the red pepper and the red pepper seeds along with parsley and the eggplant, big chunks of the eggplant. Mm. The shop has been around for three generations for over a hundred years. So this is definitely a place you want to come to try the delicious meze. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> that was so delicious. We're just walking through the old town and it is so beautiful and picturesque. You can feel the centuries and millennia of these streets. It is so beautiful through here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool around here. We were eating at Nar at restaurant the other night and the Usta there, Ixan, told us to come to a shop of his friends that sells coffee and nuts. So we're here to check it out and see what they have to offer. They have all these different types of Turkish coffee roasting, all the beans. And yeah, they have all of these here. Are you showing? Look at all the coffee here. All the ground Turkish coffee beans. And they sell it by bag. But I mean, just walking by the street, you can just smell the delicious coffee smell. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, they're so roasted? Wow, cool. Mm. Good for that throat. Mm. Ah, I think he's saying it's good for if you have like a sore throat, mm. eat these roasted coffee beans. Mm. They're really, really good. They're not strong at all like some coffee beans are. Super flavorful, almost tastes like popcorn. Ah, from a tree maybe. Oh, from a tree. Mm. Ah. Not coffee beans. Wow, so these aren't coffee beans at all. They're actually some sort of seed from inside a tree. I'm not really sure what it is, but they're really crunchy <laughs> and really tasty. <laughs> mm. Chuck Rizal. <laughs> mm. Eat. Ixan's really good friend Amit and when we were eating at his restaurant the other day he told us to come to John Yala uh, Cave to experience the coffee and the nuts so the shop is awesome it's so so cool here Chak de Chicule Cave Chak Oh Chak de Chicule Chak de Chicule So kind oh, wow. oh, They give us some John Yala Turkish coffee. Oh, it's hot still too. Oh wow! Freshly ground. <laughs> oh, chalk to shake it there. Oh, nice and hot and fresh. Wow! Look at all these nuts. <laughs> Oh. Oh, wow. oh. It's kind of like a prune uh, mixed with walnuts and raisins all mashed together with the syrup. Oh. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> so hot. Wow. Wow. Chalk your tail. Oh my goodness. Wow. You know, it looks so good that I thought we just have to get some. Look at these guys. Mmm. Chocolate Zet Lake. Oh, really, really good. Wow, really crunchy. Such fresh peanuts, wow. Mm. Ahmed and his whole family here at John Yala Kava have been amazing. They've been so hospitable with the coffee and the peanuts and everyone has been so nice and amazing. Definitely pay this place a visit if you're ever in Antakya. It's been amazing. Chuck to Shikilar everything. <laughs> to Shikilar. <laughs> to Shikilar. <laughs> It's been a big full day here in Antakya, but we have one last stop and we're going to be trying Antakya Kufta. So this should be special. Chris. Ne <gülüyor> var? <gülüyor> 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 We're here at Turin Kofta to try the Antakya Kofta. This looks so good. Nice and hot. It smells so good and nice crispy lavash because they kind of grill it. So. Sharefe. 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 Got a nice little kick to it of spice. Mm. I think from the hot sauce on the, the lavash. Oh. Mm. Nice and saucy, the tomato sauce that he kind of pours on top of it as well. Really, really nice with it. You can really taste that in there with all the onion and the parsley as well. Yeah, it's quite tomatoey actually, like the tomato sauce on there. Mm. And the kofta, again, it's a nice sort of thin piece, but quite meaty and tasty. And there's not too, too much bread as well, so it's quite nice. Mm, this is really good. I yeah, like this. Really tasty. Mm -hmm. And the way that they grill the lavash bread on the top too, it's nice and crispy, nice and charred. Of course, with any kofta, you have to have your iron. So we got a homemade, fresh, fresh iron here. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. That's good. That's really nice. That's yummy. It goes perfectly with the kofta. It does. And fresh iron is always so much better than the containered iron, so that mm. is delicious. I'm gonna get me some more of that. Perfect combo. Perfect. This is so good. Mm. And they give it to you in this nice bag mm. to catch all the juices, so it doesn't be too, so it's not too messy. That is key for something like this. The kofta was actually pretty spicy, and I'm actually sweating now. So each kofta wrap was 25 Turkish lira each. So along with the delicious iron, it cost 55 Turkish lira, which is about 475 Canadian or 375 USD. 
and it was the perfect way to end our Hatai and Takia food adventure today. It's been good. Delicious. Delicious. Capital D. Tishikular. Chocolate Bentley. Tishikular. Tishikular. Chuck Tishikular. All right, that was another awesome day of eating and exploring Antakya. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel to come along with us on all of our food adventures. We're hungry to travel, and we'll see you next meal.